everyone, I thought I'd make an updated video on how to verify GTA 5 game data files. Because on the last video, my uh, mouse wasn't showing up. Hopefully you can see my mouse. Okay, let's get into it. So I've got your computer, your hard drive. Mine's in program files, uh, Rockstar Games, everything in that box shouldn't, nothing should be highlighted, so hold the left shift, right click it, Open command window here. You type GTA V launcher dot exe space dash Oh. And then it'll give you a, you should have an admin uh, message asking you if you want to run the game, just click yes. I'll ask you to sign in. If you haven't got it on uh, auto sign in, this can fix uh, bugs and game problems. take about 20 minutes to do depending on your internet speed what I'm actually going to do is pause the video let it uh, continue with this and then when it gets towards the end I'll unpause the video so you don't have to sit through it. Okay, back in a minute. Or a second, should I say. Hi, I just thought I'd uh, continue the video, show you where it is. Uh, it's probably like almost done now. When it gets to about halfway, it speeds up. And before you know it, it's done. Oh, and I apologise for the last video. The uh, microphone wasn't that good. I've got a bit of a better microphone now. So you should be able to hear me okay without it cutting out. And the mouse settings are on, so you should be able to see that as well. You think it's going to go slowly all the way to the end, but it doesn't.
I'll also show you how to uh, do the Steam version if you've got the Steam version. This one's the Social Club version. So this method here will only work on the Social Club if you want to uh, see the Steam version. Uh, please continue watching. And it won't be the Steam version of uh, GTA 5 because I don't have it on Steam. I've just got it on uh, Social Club. So I'll have to show you with another game pretty much like I have with one of my other videos. And I thought, well, I've got a decent mic now. I've got my mouse on. Why not make an updated version? And once it's done, the game will load up. I don't have to press anything. So you'll see me game load. At least in theory you will. Not sure. On my last video, I didn't get this far on it. I just basically showed you how to do it, not like what happens afterwards. There we go. Now it'll automatically load, I'm not doing anything. There you go, it's ready to go, it's working. So, now I'll show you the Steam version, well, Steam game, should I say. Keep saying Steam version, but I don't have it on Steam. No, we do GTA 4, because <laughs> that's a, a Steam game. Alright, so you right click on your GTA V, just pretend this is GTA V, but it's GTA 4. Right click on it, properties. Local file. It's actually easier on uh, Steam to do. Verify game catch, verify integrity game catch, whatever. And it will start doing this. This is for uh, Steam users, so. Oh, 
Hopefully I got two birds with one stone there. This will all ta also take some time. Okay, I'm going to pause the video again so you don't have to sit and watch back in a second GTA 4 is almost done it's at 80 percent This is only if you've got the game on Steam. I haven't, so I'm having to show you GTA 4. But it works with any Steam game. Doesn't matter where it is. Mike updates it to the latest version. Puts any missing files back on. If something didn't install correctly, it'll put it right. There you go. All files successfully validated. So that's how you do it on the Steam version. Uh, if you have any questions, leave us a comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I think I'll uh, make a tutorial on uh, on GTA as well, because uh, some people don't know how to go from like public sessions to invite-only sessions without going to story mode. You can also change your targeting mode with the method that I've got. So you can also change that. Yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I like helping. Okay, thank you for watching anyway. I'll see you in the next one.